Come on, come on, yeah. Come on, come on, yeah. Come on, 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 you know what I'm saying? Your favorite hip hop artist, all of these niggas, all these cop suckers, pedos, drug pushers, uh, child traffickers, uh, illegal politicians, fucking NGOs, fucking CEOs, you name it. Oh, fuck up, fucking the whole lot. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. You've been fucking set up from day one. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, big up to Brooklyn Margie, been watching your stuff. You know what I'm saying? He's done some stuff on my hero, George Clinton. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've got to say, fucking hands on, that, uh, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker really did influence me. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, that dude, uh, you know what I'm saying? Showed me that you can be the concept developer, the producer, uh, you know, and the band leader, you know what I'm saying? And I've, 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 I've taken over on myself, done, you know what I'm saying? That BCAC is like, I ain't gonna say it's a single organism because it never was a single, you know, one man band type shit. It's like all, 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 all people, it's like a, it's like a, you know what I'm saying? A dude with a car, you know what I'm saying? Picking up passengers that ain't got no cars, you know what I'm saying? It's like that, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, not costing, not charging nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not um, you know, you know, costing any heavy, heavy penalties if they ain't got no fucking gas money or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're on the way there, so you got room in the car. You know, back in my day, that's what this this guy used to do. A dude named Willie. You know what I'm saying? He used to pick me up and my co-workers on the way to the job. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait for no bus, pay no money. Dude, I'm going that direction anyway. So anyway, black communications, art and craft. Broad communications are a craft is that concept. It's not a one man band. I don't call, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a one man band, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm a partnership with my girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? She's the partner right now in what I do. So it's still BCAC prods, but still, you know what I'm saying? We're still uh, an organization unto ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Not to no, not to no corporation, you know what I'm saying? You see, I'm wearing tape across my t shirt to cut out any fucking corporate logos. I don't care how it looks, type shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I ain't trying to look good here. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, add me ret retina reading devices. You know what I'm saying? If they, if it looks good, good, dude. You know what I'm saying? But let me get to the point of what I'm trying to say here or, or what I'm trying to get at. It's finished. It's finished. Forget hip hop as genre, as a music genre you can trust as a form of a uh, revolutionary escape. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or a form of uh, 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 expression that's different from the established norm. You know what I'm saying? Forget it, dude. You know what I'm saying? These guys are CIA affiliates. They've been put in and installed, and it's all been a plan from fucking day one. So forget your two packs. You know what I'm saying? Plan from day one. They installed that dude. His mum. I don't know, dude. If anybody's aware of the transgender uh, agenda, it's nothing new. It's an old agenda. And it's been stats installed into our uh, 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 mental and visual and uh, whatever ethos uh, for quite some time. If you go back to the old Hollywood movies, it's all there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody you thought was a dude is a chick. So, you know what I'm saying? Forget I'm not going no details about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm focusing mainly on this genre called hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Which adds up geometrically to 33 anyway. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you want to be, if you're a dude on that numerology tip and is aware of things are going on on that frequency. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just a big con. It's been a big con all along. So, you know, you know, I won't be signing no deal with no corporate executives or no uh, a record company uh, uh, corporate affiliates. I won't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking over the hill anyway, age-wise. Who the fuck wants an old fucking washed up nigga? Nobody. You understand? Nobody. They want them young. 
You know what I'm saying? And the old motherfucking generation, and they're looking at like, well, you're fucking twisted and demented and uh, senile anyway. Who the gives a fuck about what you say? You know what I'm saying? So it's that cat and mouse game of who's right and who's wrong. Now this is the time for Brexit. You know what I'm saying? Britain have decided to step out the EU. You know what I'm saying? And lots of people are, uh, I say lots of people, but you know what I'm saying? We're following what the pulse of the uh, online media says. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people are putting biblical references to it. You know what I'm saying? It's fair enough. You know what I'm saying? But my mind is they're responsible for that book as well. So that's that's just the way I'm seeing it on a personal level. You know what I'm saying? But let's get right back to this thing called hip hop, which now I have named and, and uh, taken upon myself to uh, uh, re-genre or rename that genre. Yeah. And that's beat and rhyme. Now, fuck hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I've written a song regarding such a uh, top topic, you know what I'm saying? That, listen, forget what you heard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> forget all that, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's finish, you know what I'm saying? Let's finish, this for bye, you know what I'm saying? KRS One, who was upholding the principles of hip hop to, to a degree, you know what I'm saying? I, I took on his board, his, he took on board his study of ebonics, and all that, I took that on. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know I, I, I rap in a, a slightly American accent. Give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I grew up in these guys, you know what I'm saying? And their flows and everything else, you know what I'm saying? So the school of Ebonics I took on and incorporated that into my raps, you know what I'm saying? So you know, that's one department I can thank KRS for. But the other shit, you know what I'm saying? The shit I didn't know about. I mean, I've never bought any of the niggas records. I never had a Grandmaster Flash record. You know what I'm saying? But these niggas were fucking in all along. CIA installations, whatever, PSYOP installations, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the whole community over the Zulu nation is divided right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, KRS can only respond uh, in uh, type and, uh, and get someone else to fucking uh, put that on, on uh, get a, a robot Sam to fucking cover that for him. You know what I'm saying? Which I've also used in a sample. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that was more than all. Why ain't you niggas that uh, uh, helped KRS and put his statement into a robot sample? But you know what I'm saying? I've taken it out and I've come up with a track called uh, Beat and Rhyme. You know what I'm saying? KRS. Beat some rhymes, come on, beat some rhymes, come on, come on, come on, beat some rhymes, come on, beat some rhymes, uh, 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 uh. Hey yo, beat some rhymes, hey yo, beat some rhymes, man, fuck hip hop, then two shits is mine. Beat some rhymes, hey yo, beat some rhymes, man, fuck hip hop. So, you know, I can include that into this podcast, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> A few other things, you know what I'm saying? Van Bar, I'm going hard on Van Bar. Since all these revelations have come out, the Star Chamber's been up there and done all the research and 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 and, and, and let us all know the deal. You know what I'm saying? No, we stay in Star Chamber, Chamber speaking clean. You know what I'm saying? People are going in about at Star Chamber about what he said about somebody's four-year-old daughter. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Star Chamber, uh, Troy Terrain emphasizes that he's not emphasizing he's a prophet or a god or a teacher you know what i'm saying that's the difference you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying troy terrain says himself he's a piece of shit so what can you do and what can you say where are you gonna go now you know what i'm saying let's get back to you know what i'm saying the research that he came up with to produce uh this information in the first place you know what i'm saying and then work back on the line now if i look at the the sex and violence cover from Care uh, from Peter uh, uh, Boogie Down Productions uh, uh, Sex and Violence album, which is the last uh, 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 album that Jive put out by BDP. You know what I'm saying? If I look at that, you know what I'm saying? Then I have to ask myself what you'll do. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to look further than the fucking cover to figure out what you'll. You know what I'm saying? There's some kind of Crowley magic going on the front cover with some robotic dude sitting there with a tongue for a cock, you know what I'm saying, and metal tits, and, and, and the dude sitting across the other side of him, you know what I'm saying, he's got a chick on his arm who's twisted backwards, one with head backwards, the other one fucking headed the other way, 
and the dude's knees are, 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 are pointed forward and, and his torso is twisted the other way, like, you know what I'm saying? Which way is that motherfucker sitting on that chair? Which way is that chick sitting on his, on his lap? You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck knows? It's twisted. That's the album cover. What the fuck is that anything, any, any of that got to do with hip hop? Why couldn't anybody say something earlier? You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't anybody point out that there's something not quite fucking right or strange, at, at least, about the sex and violence uh, album cover by BDP? You know, who designed the cover? What's the concept behind it? Does anybody else address KRS one about that? You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, any of the other his brother or cousin or whatever the fuck it was, you know what I'm saying? Who, you know what I'm saying, were part of that group. You know what I'm saying? And then Brooklyn Marge, he's done a lot of fucking research, dude. He's broken down the transgender, the homosexuality, and everything that was there all along. You know what I'm saying? With the Q-tips and the De La Souls and the JBs and fucking, you know, the, the whole gang. You know what I'm saying? Bring up, pick up Brooklyn Marge, you know what I'm saying? I'm liking your stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm liking your research, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot, there's a few others, you know what I'm saying? I'm heavy on some research, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, this is where I fall out with uh, George Clinton Parliament and Funkadelic. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, they're the backbone behind all, all what we know as hip hop, you know what I'm saying? From James Brown upwards, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and then I've just fucking just watched a documentary called Planet Rock. Uh, Black News 102 put up, I think, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go, there's that nigga snitching on themselves hardcore, they were doing that a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Raekwon, Rizza, Ice-T, uh, Ice-T, you know what I'm saying? I broke down Ice-T in the podcast of it, you know what I'm saying? Before I even see that uh, shit, you know what I'm saying? What Ice-T is actually about, you know what I'm saying? What that nigga, you know what I'm saying? How that nigga fuck the police and then fucking end up being a police former and a the film series, you know what I'm saying? It's like I broke that down in one of my podcasts already. You know? Uh dude, it's hard man, it's hard. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? And there's something in me that just keeps wanting to go on, you know what I'm saying? I've got a studio set up here and everything else. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing that seems to want to stop me from doing this. There's nothing that tells me I fuck when the gig is up. Stop doing what you're doing. It's a waste of time. You're not gonna get any money, you're not gonna get any fame, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, it's a waste of time, dude. You know what I'm saying? Do something else. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. I'll get that shit going. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's real for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really finding it hard to use the term hip hop now. I'm trying to I avoid it at all costs. You know what I'm saying? To use the term hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that hip hop term is a manufactured term set up by your fucking secret orgs. And your 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 your, your uh, uh, secret societies and all that and everything else that infiltrate the game, infiltrate the game from day one. They was in it from day one. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get it fucking brown breaded. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing's a setup. Yeah. And I'm just talking about music and the music genre. I, I, I one particular music genre, but that's the, let's fucking talk about everything. Everything is a setup. Everything you talk. Talk to school, everything else is a big con. You know what I'm saying? The space program, a big con. It's a big motherfucking lie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is where we belong. This is where we stay. Nobody goes up. When they go up, they have to fucking come direct down. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's keeping it simple. You know what I'm saying? That's not like fucking going any technical uh, 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 aspects like geraniums and. and Derek D. Bay do, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or Mark Sargent, or any of these dudes that I've watched on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? That people want, might want to say, well, they're, they're one of my great, they are my greatest influences in what I currently think. But I can only go by what I was taught from day one from astrology books. You know what I'm saying? That stars are our lamps and lights, our guiding lamps and lights, you know what I'm saying? They don't have to be solid objects, you know what I'm saying? This is just what we're told, that they're solid objects, and this is what they do. They fly out there and do whatever, and talk to whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, it's now called geocentrism, or heliocentrism, or all these things, you know what I'm saying? And, and you'll end up fucking uh, uh, being from one camp that says uh, 
the original create and novel camp says there isn't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? A lot of scientific stuff we can really research into as to what CERN are about and what they're fucking doing. Or if that really is the Tower of Babel, uh, for instance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are, are suffering what called now a Mandela effect, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, where Mandela was announced by, in the public media as dead at a certain time, and then further down the line, officially announced or re-announced, I didn't hear any early announcement that he was dead back then, you know what I'm saying, I just thought, when, 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 you know what I'm saying, motherfucker, sick, motherfucker, Goes go back in the hospital, motherfucker comes back out of the hospital, motherfucker goes back in the hospital, motherfucker's okay, nigga ain't there, you know what I'm saying? And then another time, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then bang, he's dead, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, 2013, you know, but this is what they're calling it now. They're calling it this like, in Mandela effect where people are thinking, well, things were one way one time, now things are another way another. And this time, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are fucking breaking up the Bible and saying, okay, that word said that. You know what I'm saying? Lions with lambs, now it's wolves with lambs. So, you know what I'm saying? Some people are tripping. Hardcore. You know what I'm saying? Suicide rate is going through the roof. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the people are fucking going crazy and freaking the fuck out. The states is up in arms. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just getting shot fucking point blank. You know what I'm saying? If we're not talking about these. Uh, further uh, uh, pursue forced flags, you know. Say then, you know, same because things will be forced enough for a time in isolated areas, but then become a reality. You know, what I'm saying it could be what we're seeing in America right now, and you just hear stuff about Venezuela right now. A reality, you know, what I'm saying <clears throat> we don't know. You know, what I'm saying media blackouts here and there, every fucking thing else. I'm in Europe now. We just had a Brexit. I'm British. So how the fuck, how fucked up is that, you know what I'm saying? And it's not, ain't try, I ain't, it's, it's not a place I'm fucking rushing to get back to for any fucking reason, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, you know, back to the whole town that's kicked me off with this little visual podcast, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hip-hop, forget it, fuck that. See, I'll use that word again, you know what I'm saying? Those two words, you know? H-E, uh, H-I-P, uh, uh, H-O-P, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'm not using them terms no more, it's beat and rhyme. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm rocking it now, you know what I'm saying? Fuck them shits, because I'm not stopping from uh, doing my music and writing my lyrics. I'm not doing it, I'm not stopping. You know what I'm saying? I'm over the hill, I'm in my 50s now, I give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's something I do, I ain't got a regular job, you know what I'm saying? It's something I'm passionate about, something I've been passionate about for the last 30 years, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, you know, I just want to keep it how I do it, keep it real uh, in terms of how I see uh, in terms of keeping things real, you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, you know, you got to be able to look a certain fucking motherfuckers in the eye at the end of the day, you know, as well as yourself. And if you're not on that tip, man, if you fucking, like, today, right, you sign contracts with anybody, you're signing in blood, you're signing your name in blood, you're signing your life away. You know what I'm saying? And uh, as much as uh, I could do with the prestige and the honor and the recognition and everything else, and a little bit of the finances, you know what I'm saying? Fuck these motherfuckers. I ain't trying to sell them shit. And that's ministering to my soul. I'm not fucking selling my soul. You know what I'm saying? Your soul is your half soul. This is the area they want. This is the area they want to penetrate. You know what I'm saying? And fuck up. And then they want you to penetrate other assholes. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? And everybody else becomes an asshole. You know what I'm saying? And everything else. You know what I'm saying? So, that's it, dude. I just want to pop off a little bit about, you know, directions now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm disappointed, man. Just, fucked up about it, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, look out for song titles, uh, Freaks Come Out, the new remix I've done, uh, and uh, like I said, Beat and Rhyme, 
Beatin' Rhyme remix because I can't fucking put up the original mixes. Anything I've done, the original mix, Beatin' Rhyme mix has got an MC Shan sample where he's uh, he's just offloading on KRS One freestyle, man. <laughs> I'm saying, up all on it. And then KRS One is just like, yo, you know, the government agent from day one. You know, someone they installed secretly. Dude said in his lectures he was he's living across the road from Cool Herc. You know what I'm saying? How strategic is that, man? You know what I'm saying? Okay, CIA, you got your fucking crib. You know what I'm saying? You're living opposite that motherfucker. That nice, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? That's how things come together, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? But they're, you know what I'm saying? He's he's got me an agent. And Bam Bam Bar with his paedophile sex, uh, 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 Egyptian sex magic. Uh, you know, dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I feel sorry for dudes like Poppy and you know, you look savage, you're trying to fucking get things done through courts and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Why are you barking at the same animal that fucking grabbed your pieces and fucking ran their mouth around it? You know what I'm saying? Because they're all the fucking same. You know what I'm saying? Ben Barton runs the Fox News. Who do you think runs Fox and owns and, and controls Fox News? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? And then Fox News interviews Ronald Savage as well. Like, why are you running to so you're running to the walls or the foxes? You know what I'm saying? To try and get these solutions done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <coughs> you know, Poppy says, well, you know, Zulu Nation is uh uh bad baby man, nigga owns that motherfucker. He owns the name and it's registered to him. You know what I'm saying? So any uh merchandise or anything or anything else that come off of Zulu Nation going to his coffers, you know what I'm saying? The lyrics to the song 13 and Good from KRS-One. And y'all gonna find out why if you're dirty, you don't normally talk about dirty people. You don't want to condemn a child rapist because you're a child rapist. Oh, we gotta talk about him. Or how he developed, you know, I'm never a fan of that nigga. Planet Rock, I rocked out. You know what I'm saying? The clubs, I did rock out that motherfucker. That motherfucker that got me into hip hop, really. You know what I'm saying? When I was still in my roots reggae era, I was still on fucking Bob Marley and Yellow Man and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michigan Smiley and uh, 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 all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? You know, and it's just disappointing to see things going the way they've gone. Oh, you say, I say going the way they've gone. But, you know, careful research will establish, like I said, my man Brooklyn Maggie, uh, uh, a few other dudes, uh, I ain't got your names right, ready right now. You know what I'm saying? Big up Michael E. Edwards, you know what I'm saying? Big up oh, anybody doing any research on this right now, I'm breaking it up, you know what I'm saying? Prophet said, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And we're breaking down, you know what I'm saying? Some people are broken down uh, 13 and good. Song on Boogie Down Productions, uh, uh, Sex and Violence album. Only 13, and it ain't good. She was only 13, but it ain't good. She was only 13, and it ain't never good. good with that wax shit, shit that fucked up out of the hood. Only 13, and it ain't good. She was only 13, and it was never good. Only 13, and it ain't good with that wax shit, shit that fucked up out of the hood. So how the fuck we gon' silence all that sex and violence? Album bar BDP, see how that falls on the line. With sick gender agendas all ass open ended. It's why KRS wants to ask and no longer be defenders. Pick up the star chamber for holding 13 and good at. Now we can see and hear what that nigga all about. Saying that drink he sit made a 13 year old look like 26. Is that the same nigga? Sucking on band bar the dick It's like the deeper the rabbit a hole the deeper shit yet yeah. Is the hip hop era we all recognize one we should now forget Come on just asking good question Come on Only 13 and it ain't good She was only 13 and it ain't good Only 13 and it ain't good With that wax ass shit the fuck up out of the hood Big nigga, H25, hitting on H13, bragging on how he waxed that. Y'all know what he means. What until she done finally allegedly come clean? He sees statutory rape, wants to play the scene. She got other ideas, though, and wants to set dude up. Dials a pop to this crib, so pop says he's bringing his block. Actually, at 45, though, so let's stick to the mathematics. See, for all I care, it could have been a semi automatic. Pop reaches the office door, now we got us some beef. Cause she's only 13, and pop's the police chief. Come on, come on, come on, nah, nah, uh. Cause she was 
only 13 and it ain't good Only 13 and it ain't good She was only 13 and it ain't good With that wax six shit the fuck up and it ain't good Only 13 and it ain't good She was only 13 and it ain't good She was only 13 and it ain't good With that wax six shit the fuck up out of the hood And for all the all the story there's no more to the story Fact is, nigga, been done and said it, you finished the story for me. So I pops got a 45, all in that them stupid dread. If you want the blast, the niggas know to. Nope, he did that semi on his death. Pop tells him, nah, I got you alone, that get that ass in bed. Right about the little 30, you know, all them tears up the sweat. Wolf continues, now pops pulls out a pack of chewing gum. Can't think the ass, does he really mean condoms? Cop tells him, watch, look at cops for years, he been looking for a strong man. After years, we thought we knew all we needed to know about Sam. The rabbit butt who gets even deeper, whole story even creepier. Cause little 13 year old girl should never be touched by no man. You understand? Come on, man. Uh, only 13, and it ain't good. She was only 13, and it ain't good. Only 13, and it ain't good. With that wax and shit, that fuck up out of the hood. Only 13, and it ain't good. She was only 13, and it ain't good. Only 13, and it ain't good. With that wax and shit, that fuck up out of the hood. Come on. Yeah, yeah. One least spitting all that job, all that sex and bottles, nigga, lucky to still be alive. Actually, the last joint by BDP issued by job. The same label now seemingly being part of the hob. KRS response on all the controllers didn't necessarily shoot. Then on Van Bottle saying he couldn't give a fuck now, bro, be hitting rude. When on Farmer whispers the milk and said the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Then certain the good is true, the teachers own at least a verbal baby. With all that sex with sex and bottles, means it's time that we've been cheating. But fooling around with mine is part of the teacher's teaching. And how much later we search the earth's work, you're up in the joint, that's whack. What's more, how the fuck KRS? Going back out that track. Only 13, she was only 13. Only 13, she was only 13. Only 13, she was only 13. With that wax and shit, the fuck up out of the hood. With that wax surgeon, and it ain't good. She was only 13. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? The Star Chamber. The phone is that uh, he's very such up with um, uh, 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 Grandmaster Flash's entry uh, into a book that he wrote as a biography. You know what I'm saying? Saying how you have this uh, relationship with a 13 year old girl. So the number 13 is, is significant. In numerology, we, uh, people are familiar with number 13 being uh, uh, a number that re represents America because it's 30 star. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, these are none of the problems I, I try to mix up in my songs to try and keep it. You know what I'm saying? It's real and recognition all as well as possible. You know what I'm saying? But there are occultic, istic elements involved. You know what I'm saying? Of course there are in everything. In everything we do, there is uh, you know, a positive and negative effect. You know what I'm saying? In everything. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't count out the codes and the numerological factors that all play a part. You know what I'm saying? Including dates, times, names, everything else. You know what I'm saying? Which are all included. If you're uh, uh, any part or anything to do with the music business and you're signed into it, you know what I'm saying, then you are catalogued. And your birth date and time is also catalogued. You know what I'm saying? This is why uh, <clears throat> if you are of any uh, 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 recognizable factor, you know what I'm saying, then you are, you're right, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be rode upon. You know what I'm saying? Just heard recently that Lauren, Seal, uh, Lauren Hill uh, uh, been turned up late for gigs and leaving feeble excuses, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we can go further and think, well, maybe these people are not the same as they're not who they are. I mean, look at Kim, little Kim now, you know what I'm saying? Is that little Kim? You know, a little cat, a little Kim, little what? What the fuck is that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a freak show, dude, you know what I'm saying? So, and, uh, and all the rest of them, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got a fucking, you know, you know it's time to. To, to, to let go of all these, these, these individuals, you know what I'm saying? They're not doing anything to you. To you. If they're hip hop or anything to do with hip hop, let them be hip hop. Cause I'm not doing, I'm not fucking with hip hop no more. You know what I'm saying? Straight up the fucking down. I'm not fucking with hip hop no more. You know what I'm saying? I won't be using that term to address what I do. You know what I'm saying? Get your hip hop right here. Is our registered trademark? You know what I'm saying? It's not registered. Suck. You know what I'm saying? We registered. You know what I'm saying? We own that. That's house. 
beat some rhymes, we'll, we'll fuck the hours, you know what I'm saying? Fuck hip hop, no, you can beat some rhymes. If you ask somebody what genre you're in, your music you're into, if they say hip hop, forget them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit now. That's, that, that, that shit is finished. You know what I'm saying? So, beat and rhyme. It is beat and rhyme. That's what it is. It's beat and rhyme. You know? And then rapping with beat and rhyme. You know, I've just watched the, the KRS lecture where he was talking about Jamaican DJs and how they used to mix and fade. You know what I'm saying? And then been the boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? With the fader and everything else. And how Cool Turk, Cool Herc, Cool, cool Turk, Cool Herc took that fucking boat that out of Jamaica into the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's due. You know what I'm saying? It's, that, that gives me a little, a bit of a proud boost being of Jamaican parentage. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, you know, yeah. besides all that, fucking big cons. Lectures are big cons. You know what I'm saying? He's going around saying one thing, uh, black spades and people in other communities around in the Bronx are saying other things. I'm saying that and that no, okay, is really twisted, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I wasn't there, I can't fucking say that, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in London, I don't know, fuck about the Bronx, only what my brother can tell me. My brother came out of the Bronx, grew up in the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? Other members of my family grew up in Jersey and, and, and the States, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't tell you too much about those places. My brother broke a lot of things down, you know what I'm saying? How things fucking work out and how things run out there, you know what I'm saying? And, and the sign that Giuliani was wiping everything up, you know what I'm saying? And running his pro, uh, 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 immigration program, his three strikes in your out program, you know what I'm saying? So as far away from that place as I've been, I've always been in touch somehow, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, I'm never going to be too far away from, you know, and I come from London, you know what I'm saying? London, New York, put London and New York together, you get nylon, you know what I'm saying? N-Y-L-O-N. Uh, London is not out of, you know what I'm saying, by any stretch of imagination, finished, you know what I'm saying? London is not finished, because London is the headquarters of Babylon, the so-called Babylon, you know what I'm saying? And it's all coming from... It's all up, but sick shit is coming from there. It's been infiltrated and peppered around the world. You know what I'm saying? So, we've talked about paedophilia and sadistic stuff like that. It's run from London, man. A lot of it comes from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch recent uh, reports about uh, what's going on in the Swiss Alps. How you know, they're doing these big ceremonies there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and there's connected, red crosses, red, red crosses, white crosses, you know what I'm saying, and black crosses, you know what I'm saying, so, it's, it's, it's all there, it's nothing that people take five minutes to check out, nothing new, you know, it's the old ancients of days doing their shit, you know what I'm saying, they're getting ready to wrap everything up, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, hip hop is dead, and democracy is dead, your old fucking democratic system is dead. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But on a, on a lesser level, you know what I'm saying? A music genre that had me thinking it was all good, you know what I'm saying? It's not all good. You know what I'm saying? I just had it based on the pedophilic, the drugs, the transgender, fucking all sorts of shit. In that game, you know what I'm saying? The whole music industry actually, you know what I'm saying? This year that the uh, the Eurovision Song Contest is gonna be host hosted by last year's winner, which is uh Kajia Worst. You know what I'm saying? Who's on the UN boards is uh I don't know, uh well, transgender. So you know what I'm saying? If people are not awake to the agenda at play you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get swept up in it. The children are all being indoctrinated into it. Uh, uh, as soon as you come out, uh, uh, as soon as a child comes out of uh, its mum's womb, it's then monitored uh, in the very near future, chipped. Uh, uh, put MMR jabs and everything else, vaccines, everything else. Children are given up to four years old, they're okay, and then they go off the rails and go off in their own little world. You know what I'm saying? 
complete psychopath in the world. I mean, that's just the way things are, you know what I'm saying? We're, not, we're surrounded. The motherfuckers are surrounded, you know what I'm saying? But you'd think there'd be at least a sprinkle of dignity left somewhere, you know what I'm saying? And that should have been in what people, for my, in, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I mean, encased in, in the clauses and the and in the values and everything else that, that makes hip hop that made hip hop a great genre. You know what I'm saying? Hard beat, ghetto based fucking music, and the niggas are sucking dick on it. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And the latest is Gucci Mane. I never had fucking no time for none of them cash man and money dudes. I never had more fucking no time for. Little Wayne never had no time from day one. As soon as I started hearing him and dissing women, you know what I'm saying? And they're all homosexuals, you know what I'm saying, dude? So, you know, we, we, we're left to what we value at the end of the day. What we consider valuable at the end of the day. What really matters, you know, for us as life forms at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? What's the real deal? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, well, pedophilia was legal in certain other countries. Like Afghanistan or other places, you know what I'm saying? It's normal to fuck with boys. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? If you look at the whole, whole, whole overall philosophy, how does that fucking. What's that got to do with procreation? And bringing and raising the next generation? It ain't, is it? Cause it stops there. You're plugging them niggas back, then you ain't fucking looking at no, nothing to come back. You know what I'm saying? It's just. You know what I'm saying? Whatever else comes out of that region. That's all you're gonna get. You're not going to get someone you can influence, you know what I'm saying, who looks like you, who's going to grow up learning how you did, fucking discovering things you did, and uh, 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 you're not going to be pushing that young boy or girl on their way to, to a better day, you know, you know what I'm saying, because that's just the way it is, you know what I'm saying, it's not to say homosexuality is wrong, it's just it's common sense, it's common sense, you say, you know what I'm saying, you know, that person ain't even no baby, so that's it. You know? Fuck, move on. Uh, it's not, is it? It's just not like that. So, and if you look at that democracy, that's how democracy was fucking built in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It's built all on those values. Pedophile, pedophilia and homosexuality. That's how we got democracy. And that's how it's gonna end. You know what I'm saying? It's looking like that right now, man. Hardcore. It's like the 33rd minute. You know what I'm saying? And the end of the 34th. You know what I'm saying? So, 